Hey guys, this is Puck15, and uh, I'm actually here with uh, how my how do you say your name, um, Mr. Mr. Wu? Kioni Young. Kioni Young. Welcome home, Wu. And uh, I actually have uh, two two questions for you. Um, well, that was qu one question already. Yeah. <laughs> Are you deaf? How can I teach you if you refuse to listen? <laughs> one question for you is. Uh, how, you're one of those actors that always wanted to improve on your, uh, to improve your acting career th throughout. That you actually said in one interview previously, and uh, and what way do you would you like to uh, improve your your acting through the movies that you're going to be in the future? Well, one thing I learned was that acting was something that was like, uh, you know. It's an abstract form. It's not like science or math, where one and one is two, two and two is four. Acting and creativity, sometimes one and one is three, or two and two is five and a half. Yeah, yeah. It just it depends on the situation, because every actor would make one situation diff different from the other. But a mathematician has one answer, and that's the only answer. So, uh, in terms of actors, in terms of me as an actor, I knew I had to study all the sciences that are surrounded of acting. And, for example, like, I had to study ballet, I had to study opera, I had to study singing, dancing, tap dancing, gymnastics, everything that related to performing arts. I learned how to read music, I learned how to read Western music, I learned how to read Asian music, I learned dance from different cultures. So what I, what I, um, what I wanted to do in my expression comes from all that experience. Yeah. You understand what I'm trying to say? Oh, yeah. For example, like a chef can't just learn how to cook a hamburger or a steak. No. Nope. They got to learn how to do a chicken 18 different ways. French. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mexican. Japanese. How, how they would cook it. You know, different forms and different ways. All right. And so that's the kind of actor, and that's how I keep viewing actors. I have to keep, keep continuing my studies. Okay. And uh, since we're actually uh, here in uh, Mr. Wu's in South Dakota, and you actually played two actors in uh, that actually named after Mr. Wu, that was Men in Black 3, The Alien, and also Mr. Wu from a TV series with Deadwood and the movie. And you also reference, uh, and you also say the name Mr. Wu in uh, True Crime and much of other material that you're in. So uh, the, my question is, how is it like to actually have a place in Deadwood named Mr. Wu, named after your actor? How is it like? It's wonderful. I think it's great um, that uh, that you come with a character, it's on a piece of paper, so it's two-dimensional. Uh -huh. You give it life in your body, and you give it some kind of uh, creativity, some kind of an expression. Who is most unhappy? So, you know, it's great. It's, uh, it's a character is written on two-dimensional form on, on paper. It was an idea of a writer. And then you have me as a contributor yeah. to the character. And then you have uh, designers who design the costumes and the sets to give it life. And we continue and continue. And then, as an extension of that, some guy comes along and names a casino after you because he's seen and he brings it to another dimension. So for me, it's an extension from that guy who had that first idea to write it on paper to see how far it can go. Yeah. So this is one of the ways it goes, you know, to see how far you can take it. Because like everybody, as we live, and we all know we're going to end up dying, what do we leave behind? Uh -huh. You know, it's yeah. our legacy. And what do we leave behind is how people view us and people think of us. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy that after I go, even Mr. Wu might be able to be here. That's awesome, dude. Okay. And, and thank you for answering these two questions for no a short buddy. interview. And uh, that would be five dollars, please. No. <laughs>
a mug, I... Hey, what do you guys want to bust my balls for, huh? You don't have no balls, will you? Dude, now, Maga, hi. Stop busting my balls, man. I'm being straight with you. You're a piece of shit. My dad would be $5, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, size Can I ask you a question? That's $5. <laughs> I, paid you, I paid you enough, like... $140 for autographs. I think I, I did pay you enough. Yeah, but, that's, uh, that's okay in Deadwood, but in, uh, you know, I'm from LA. Yeah. That'll get me uh, enough gas to get me down the street to the market. <laughs> That'll work. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Puck 15 out. Cut.